What's up, fellas? So, back out here at the uh, LTD, got the old radiator out. That's this one. I had a Mark 8 fan, used a DC fan controller, and I'm intending to put this one in. It's a uh, Griffin Universal, got it from Summit. Uh, saw a thread on Corral about these, and uh, several guys had them. They seemed, said they really liked them. Uh, we're still having the issues, some issues with the cooling on here, even with that different radiator. What I did on here before was I run the uh, sensor for the temp, or the temperature control on the fan, and I plugged it into the front. So I messaged the guy, or emailed the guy that uh, designed the fan controllers, and he said you can't do that. They got to go in on the back side of the fan or the uh, radiator. So I had enough length, I plugged it in here, and that took care of it. it. It would sit at idle and it would never get over 160, 170 degrees with a 160 degree thermostat. So I was happy about that, but it would still get hot on the highway. With a 160 degree thermostat, it would still run like 170 or 85, 190. Uh, so I didn't like that. So what I did is I found, you know, that radiator. And uh, so I'm going to try it out. It's um, it's pretty thick. It's got two, two inch core versus, I think that's like one, a little over one and a quarter. It's got the, uh, you can see in there, it's got single row going across. But they're pretty thick. This has got two rows going across and they're, they're pretty thick as well. But because... This is two inch and that's like one and three sixteenths or something like that. Uh, I need to go back to my, what was it, Focus or something fans on here. That's a Mark 8 fan, uh, but it's right, the fan motor rubs right up against where the uh, water pump is. So I had to shave off a little bit of the centering pin on the uh, water pump. But uh, the good news is I think I can go back to my standard water pump, my underdrive water pump pulley and get rid of the factory one. And I'm going to try, I'm going to go back to a 195 degree thermostat. I had to order one through uh, O'Reilly's today because they had 160 degree and 180 degree high flow, but not the 195. So I'm going to try it out, see what works. If it don't work out, I can go back to the 180. Uh, this thing's supposed to be direct fit. Like I said, several guys tried them on their cars. These outlet tubes, our inlet and outlet tubes, are a quarter inch bigger than the ones on a standard radiator, Mustang replacement radiator. So, you know what that means? Can't go on prison style. They said uh, they said some lube on there, and it'll it'll go right on. I'm gonna put a little sandpaper on it to uh, get some of them burrs off. Because you can feel the burrs. You probably hear that. So get those off and then uh, work them work them hoses on. The bad part about doing that fan setup is because with that fan setup, I can use the factory overflow bottle, which kind of made things a little neater in the engine bay. With this one, I'll have to uh, mount something else. I think <laughs> just probably use a Gatorade bottle in the fender like I did before. It works. It ain't got to be pretty. It's in the fender well. Ain't nobody going to see it. So anyway, I got to get busy with this, get this stuff swapped out, and then I'll get it running tomorrow. So once I get that part done, I can start messing with this turd. Oh, let me show you the, I have a LTD fan in here. This is the Crown Vic fan. These are, the Crown Vics have like a heavy duty cooling. They got a mechanical fan, but in front of the mechanical fan is, is that thing. So I cut it out of the stock shroud and then mounted it in the uh, factory Mustang shroud. Just use, got some uh, strap aluminum, half inch wide, I think eighth inch thick at Lowe's. And uh, just fab that up and it works pretty well, pretty clean looking. Definitely not factory, but it works. So that's all that matters. So that's the plan. And then I'll use this on the Dugan wagon sometime when I get that far along. But anyway, that was it. Hopefully uh, this thing works out and then I can 
not be overheating on the highway or in traffic with AC going. So that's it. Appreciate y'all. Later. All right, guys, you can see it's running, finally. Um, got the radiator in. It is, it is tight. There's not much room down here. I've got a, an SN air conditioner on here. The air conditioner, the uh, SN condenser. And then uh, again over here, it's pretty tight, but it fits. The hoses took a little persuading, but they went on. Uh, I still haven't rigged up the uh, overflow bottle, but that's easy stuff. It's been running for about 10 minutes. I started at 420. It's 430 now, right on the dot. So, and it's just at like 185 or so. 180. So, little girl up here in the dash doing her thing. Sexy. But so we'll try it out. I've got the uh, underdrive water pump pulley back on, and then a standard uh, underdrive crank pulley. So overall, I like it. Like I said I think it'll keep it keep it cool. Got the dual fans; they're just kicking on. If I have to change anything after after this, I will be sure to follow up and let you know. But right now, I'm liking it. So I'll do my what little editing I have, and I'll splice this with the other one and call it done. All right, appreciate y'all. Later.